My brothers and sisters, our devotees of the Divine Mercy, uh, Father Pros, uh, Reverend Fathers, thank you so much for this opportunity, for this uh, gift of God's grace that we can reflect uh, the qualities of divine mercy, especially in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. And our reflections will be about our blessed Virgin Mary, Mother and Model of Mercy. Our life on earth is a journey towards our real home in heaven. Our stay on earth is temporary. We are mere transients, tourists in this world. This is not our permanent address, nor home. Eventually and inevitably, we have to depart from it. Unfortunately, there's no forever here on earth. But fortunately, our final dwelling place has been prepared for us because God's will is for us to be with Him in His home in heaven forever. From God, we come to Him and we should return to His eternal dwelling in heaven. The life of our Blessed Virgin Mary was a pilgrimage on earth. If we reflect on this more deeply, we become aware that our Blessed Mother still walks with us and for us. She walks towards us so that we may encounter her in our life. With the filial love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Sister Faustina, look and affirm, you are the model of my life, diary numbers 874, and she confess, I model my life on you, diary 1232. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, assure her, my daughter, I shall obtain for you the grace of interior life, which will be such that without ever leaving that interior life, you will be able to cry out. Our external duties with ever greater care, diary 785. What our Blessed Virgin Mary have shown and done to Saint Sister Faustina will surely do to us. Let us just reflect about it. After the Blessed Virgin Mary received the message of God through the Archangel Gabriel, did not she set out and travel to the hill country in haste, the town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth? Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 40. Mary's journey to Elizabeth was a manifestation of her compassion and generosity. She went eagerly to her to share with her the good news that she received from the Archangel and also to wish for her cousin to likewise be filled with the blessings and grace of God and also to bring to her the joy that filled her to bring to her Jesus in her womb. And the joy was indeed felt by Elizabeth such that the infant in her womb left jolted by her 
overwhelming presence of Jesus Christ. Isn't it that following a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled, Joseph went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the family and the house of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Joseph traveled with Mary, who was well advanced in her pregnancy, to fulfill the requirement of the decree. It showed her obedience to the law and respect for authority. Isn't it that to save the baby Jesus from the cruelty of King Herod, who had all male firstborns killed in order to prevent the rise of the Messiah, Saint Joseph was told by the angel of the Lord in a dream to rise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Out of their deep love and concern for their son Jesus, Joseph and Mary were ready to be migrants in a new land. Have we not realized the Blessed Virgin Mary with Jesus in his preaching and ministry? Saint Matthew in his gospel testified to this. Your mother and your brother are standing outside asking to speak with you. Chapter 12, verse 47. And at the foot of the cross, Mary stood, and Jesus said, Behold your mother, pointing to John. And this is from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 27. It was extremely excruciating and painful for a mother to see her son suffering in miserable pain. Still, she kept vigil at the foot of the cross to suffer with Jesus, to share in his passion until he breathed his last. My dear devotees of divine mercy, we see therefore that our Blessed Mother Mary walk with Jesus here on earth. Her journey was a portrait of mercy, love, and compassion. Mary continues to walk towards us and with us. If our Blessed Mother is with us in our life journey, what else do we hope for? With Mary, with us. What can happen? With Mary, with us, what can happen? Three things can happen to us. Three things that we should always remember and carry with us. And what are these? First, she will bring Jesus to us, the divine mercy. Second, Bringing Jesus to us with divine mercy, miracles, or something wonderful will come to our life. More than the water becomes wine. And third, our blessed Virgin Mary will be with us in our time of suffering. We will experience the mercy of God through her. First, she will bring Jesus to us, the divine mercy. Mary went to the home of Zechariah and Elizabeth to help, to comfort, and assist Elizabeth in her giving birth to John the Baptist. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Luke chapter 1 verse 56 
In this way, the Blessed Virgin Mary showed Elizabeth her mercy and compassion. Mary shared Jesus with Elizabeth, and this prompted Elizabeth to exclaim, And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at that moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb lived for joy. John chapter 1, verses 43 to 44. We might say that at that time, Elizabeth may have been anxious and disturbed about her condition. Being with child at her advance is that was why she happily welcomed the visit of Mary. After all, who else would give her comforting presence and assurance? Who would quell her insecurity and doubt, but he whom she called out right, my Lord, Jesus, none other than Jesus, who was in the womb of Mary. Here Mary pour out on Elizabeth the mercy of God. My dear devotees of divine mercy, in our moment of great need and despair, trials and tribulations, in this time of uncertainty of COVID-19 pandemic, our dearest Blessed Mother will come, will make her presence felt, and bring to us her Son, Jesus Christ, and from that we will experience God's mercy. When we stumble and become lost, when we stray, and in our sickness due to this pandemic, she will point to us, Jesus, who will show us the right path, lift us up so that we can return to God our Father, and eventually we will experience comfort and healing. Our Blessed Mother will look with mercy in this troubling and trying time of COVID-19 and she will find a way to lighten our burden, to relieve our suffering, and eventually grant us the necessary remedy. Just say, just say, Jesus, I trust in you. Mercy comes. Just say and accept, Jesus, I trust in you. In her diary, 1097, Sister St. Faustina testified, Since that time, I have been living under the virginal clock of the Mother of God. She has been guarding me and instructing me. I am quite at peace closed her immaculate heart because I'm so weak and experienced. I nestle like a little child close to her heart. So imitating childlike attitude of Saint Sister Faustina, let us go. Approach our Blessed Mother Mary as we pray the Subduum Presidium. Fly to the patronage of Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all despair, especially now from this COVID-19. Second, a miracle or something wonderful will come to our life. Mary went to a wedding in Cana, Galilee to help and support the bride and the groom. John chapter 2, verse 2 and following. Then Mary noticed that the wine had run short and brought the mother up to Jesus. At the behest of his mother, Jesus performed his first miracle in his public ministry and change water into wine, verse 10. 
There's nothing impossible with God. He can do anything. He can make all things happen. He will give everything for our good and well-being. He will do everything for our salvation. And all this we can ask of God through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother. Remember, Ad Jesum per Maria, to Jesus through Mary. Whatever and wherever we are today, COVID or non-COVID, strong or weak, rich or poor, content or in need, pardon or undergoing more difficulties, we all have hope waiting for us. It is not too late. God is rich in mercy. He is a God of surprises and He will draw miracles on our way. Wonderful things await us through the love and care of our dearest Mother Mary. Let us just obey Mary as the servers did who followed her when she told them regarding Jesus do whatever he tells you. John chapter 2, verse 5. In spite of our suffering and sickness, miracle will happen to us to the mercy of God. And lastly, my dear devotees and disciples of divine mercy, my brothers and sisters in Christ, third, our Blessed Virgin Mary will be with us, especially in our time of suffering. Mary was with Jesus as He underwent His Passion. She was at the foot of the cross. She did not leave Him. She did not abandon Him. She did not forget her Son. She was his disciple and followed his ministry. She was with him at every chapter of his life on earth. Mary was with Jesus on the way of the cross. This is also what will happen to us. Mary will be with us in our journey here on earth in our passion, in our way of the cross, as we undergoing this COVID-19 pandemic, she is still and will be with us. Whatever be our state in life, wherever we stand in society, ordinary, untitled, working class, unrecognized, our Blessed Virgin Mary will visit us and remain with us, especially in our trials and difficulties. Saint Sister Faustina, in her suffering and sickness, appealed and cried out to our Blessed Virgin Mary, Sweetest Mother, continue to teach me about interior life. May the sword of suffering never break me. Diary 131 Let us then turn and entrust ourselves to the maternal care and her mantle in this time of COVID-19 pandemic that we will be helped. Yes, we will be healed. This is the mercy of our Blessed Mother that she will take our hand and guide us and lead us to her Son, Jesus Christ. Through her mercy for us, she will accompany us until we reach our final destination, the home of God in heaven. In her diary, 
539, Saint Sister Faustina made known what our Blessed Virgin Mary at that evening of the last day of the Novena at Ostra Brahma on that November 15 requested from her. The Blessed Mary was telling me to accept all that God asks of me like a little child without questioning. Otherwise, it would not be pleasing to God. Diary 539 My dear devotees of Divine Mercy, our life is a journey. It is a pilgrimage. Along the way, we go ahead. And in the day-to-day -day of our life, whatever may happen, whoever we may be and encounter along the way, we should remember and accept with faith and without questioning. One, our Blessed Mother will bring Jesus to us. Through our Blessed Mother, miracle, something wonderful will happen to us. And especially now in our suffering, COVID-19 pandemic 19, our Blessed Virgin Mary remains with us. And remedy is at hand. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother and Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, our devotees, thank you so much. And God bless us all. Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, I pass in you. Yes, ng balanga, lahat ng parokya, halin ng sumamba, makuri sa kanya.